Tell me you're eating some ice cream this morning. It's already pretty warm out there. Oh, you know, I've been saving my tummy for breakfast because it's all about ice cream this morning, but not yet. We're, we're saving it for a shot here. Kirsten here at Ben & Jerry's is going to show me the proper way to make a milkshake. And, and Kirsten, it's been a long time. I actually used to make milkshakes for Dick's Pharmacy in Arthur, Illinois when I was 16 years old. But it's been many, many years ago, many, many moons ago. What's, right. what's the proper way to make a milkshake? Eight ounces of milk. Okay, so eight ounces of milk. Ten and ounces of ice cream. Ten, ten ounces of ice cream. Now, how do you know when it's ten ounces? Uh, you just do it a while and you know how much. <laughs> so what, we're talking like just a few scoops here? It's like three, three and a half scoops. Three and a half scoops. And I chose, I chose the butterscotch ice cream. I don't think I've ever had a butterscotch milkshake, so I'm looking forward to this. But we're, we're doing this just to celebrate. Now, tomorrow is National Ice Cream Day, and we have a pretty cool uh, promotion that Ben & Jerry's is, is doing that we want to tell you about here in one second. Before we do that, we're, we're in the process of making a milkshake. Oh, this is fancy. Oh my gosh, you have like a little machine. Absolutely, do you want whipped cream? Do I, do I want whipped cream? Uh, yes, am I human? Milk. Yes, <laughs> por favor. Uh, What's your favorite kind of milkshake? Oh, uh, Cherry Garcia. A Cherry Garcia. That's yeah. that's pretty unique. All right. Never had a cherry milkshake before. Yeah, okay. Have you guys celebrated uh, National Ice Cream Day in the past? Is this something no, that's... No, we haven't. So we're excited. Cool, yeah. Cool. There's actually a president, I just found out, that started National Ice Cream Day. We're going to tell you who that was later on next hour. But, Kirsten, you, how many milkshakes do you think you've made? You're, you just, you're snapping this up in a jiffy. Oh, gosh, hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds of milkshakes. Yeah. Do you, what, what, do you, what would you say is probably the most popular? Because I know when you go to a basic you know, um, nickel and dime store, it's like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Right. Those are the classic flavors. Yeah, strawberry cheesecake is popular. Uh, vanilla Heath Bar Crunch. The coffee flavored ice creams are popular. Uh, okay. All so, right. yeah. Well, am I, am I allowed to try this bad boy? Oh, my goodness. Well, as I try this... Ben and Jerry's, they, they want to have a, a promotion today to celebrate National Ice Cream Day. Woody here is on the phone, standing by, all right? Woody wants you to call him. The question is, there's the phone number. They're going to give you a uh, Regency Theater four-pack here at the East Hills Mall and a four-pack for uh, four free Sundays here at Ben and Jerry's. If you're the first person to call in and tell us, the tri their, this is their trivia question, how many licks, according to scientists at makeicecream.com, how many licks does it take to finish an ice cream scoop, just one scoop of ice cream. Okay, so call that number. If you can answer that correctly, Woody, Woody's about to answer here. <laughs> Woody, Woody's gonna answer it. And the first person to get there right wins. Just what I just said, that's just too funny. We already got one phone, one, phone, one caller on the phone, it's hysterical. I'm gonna finish my, or start my butterscotch milkshake. We'll be back, we have an ice cream eating competition coming up later on in the hour, so stick around. All right, and I'm going to do a little love connection. How about the Ben & Jerry's cow with the Chick-fil-A cow? Could we get them together? Oh, that's funny. You're right. And I want to well, go to the wedding because there'd be a is lot the, of is the, is the Chick-fil-A cow a female? Hmm. Uh, it's called cow. My, either I way. I think it's a female. I guess, no, I guess, I guess they're, they're, yeah, a bull would be a male, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you can work on it. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. And speaking Thanks, of ice guys. cream, go to my, how is that milkshake? Butterscotch? Oh, my goodness gracious. The, the best milkshake I've had in years. Yeah, I've I love had butterscotch. I've butterscotch one. Me neither. It was delicious. But yeah, tomorrow is National Ice Cream Day because we don't have a morning show on the weekends. We're celebrating today. We're As doing we it should. right. As we should. <laughs> we got, I'm gonna, I got to announce them correctly. I got our two competitors for an ice cream eating contest here at Ben and Jerry's in uh, East Hills Mall in Bakersfield, California. We have in the blue corner, Tyler the Terror. Uh, and in the other blue corner, Woody, Woody's doing the honors. We have Maddie Sweet Pea. All right, really quick. Maddie, how old are you? Eight. Eight, are you hungry? Yes, I'm starving. Get in there, girl. <laughs> and Tyler, Tyler, how old are you? Nine. You're nine, and are you hungry? Yes. All right, on a scale from one to 10, how, how hungry would you say you are? A million out of 10. <laughs> a million out of 10. All right, Woody's happy with that answer. We were going to make him eat these Vermonsters, which is about like 5,700 scoops of ice cream. Uh, but we decided uh, that'd be a little too much. We have them, their ice cream sundaes. All right, first person to finish. You know what? We're going to make this more interesting, though. No spoon. No spoon. I'm taking away the spoons. All right. That's right. You guys have to eat it without <laughs> spoons. Should I give them a countdown? Yeah. Like, like three, two, one, or something? Okay, are you, are you ready? Tyler, stand by. Maddie. First person to finish wins. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Nice, nice. Oh, go, Tyler's go, go. being all, Tyler's being all kind of uh, dainty about it. 
Maddie, Maddie just shoved her face in there. Go, Maddie. Come, Come on. on Maddie. You said you're hungry. Go. Tyler go, go, said go. he didn't have breakfast because he just wanted ice cream for breakfast. While we're doing this, all right, Woody, Woody, the Ben and Jerry's cow over here, he wanted me to, on his behalf, uh, give another promotion they wanted to date in celebration of National Ice Cream Day. They're giving away one more four-pack of Regency Theater tickets along with a four-pack uh, free uh, ice cream Sundays. all right? If you can answer this question, all right? Which U.S. president, and you can call this number if you know this answer, the first caller to get this right wins, which U.S. president started National Ice Cream Day? If you don't know the answer, you just Google it. It's very simple. It's very easy. Just call that number, first person. Woody will answer. Bada bing, bada boom. All right? Actually, Tiffany's probably going to answer. Tiffany's over there. She works for Ben & Jerry's. But yeah. You guys, I'm a little disappointed. Come really? On, come on, come on, come on, come on, Maddie, let's go. <laughs> I, I, I'm having Maddie. a tough time deciphering who, who's the winner here. I'll tell you what, keep going, keep trying. We're going to toss it back to you guys. Maybe we'll have a winner here in the next five or ten minutes. Maybe it's the gummy bears that are filling you up. Is it the gummy bears? Is it because it's so cold? Yeah. <laughs> Tyler's like, dude, I got ice cream all over my face. <laughs> they're, they're, I think they're mad at me because I took away their spoons. Uh -oh. It was all Woody's idea. I'm telling you, it was Woody's Woody. idea. Blame it on he's, Woody. He's up to no good. You can't talk back. Hey, all gummy right, bears, they're fruit flavored, so that's a healthy breakfast, right? A exactly. Okay. You got all the major food groups. You got your dairy, your sugar, and your sugar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you in a few. Kind of reminds me of Farrell's. If any of you ever went there with the pig's trough, they, that whole wheelbarrow, all the ice cream, good stuff. 827 the East Hills Mall. What are you eating now? It was really cute last time. We had the kids. Competing. Oh, who actually won? Was it Maddie know, or Tyler? Uh, Maddie and Tyler, they're both winners. We actually were giving them a four pack to Regency Theaters as well. In fact, guys, can you come on over? They're still eating ice cream. Look at this. They're still eating. Tyler, <laughs> Maddie, come on over. Aches. I know, I know. Oh, you guys don't have tummy aches, do you? No, no, they're good. They, they, they were, they kept their, their tummies empty just for their ice cream this morning. Come on, Maddie, don't be shy. I want you guys to be my MC, okay? All right, you know what that is, right? You'll be, you'll be just describing what we're doing. I'm gonna tell what our audience what we're about to do. Me, me and Kirsten here, Kirsten's uh, here at Ben & Jerry's. Uh, Larry, who, who is also owner here at Ben & Jerry's as well, decided, hey, ice cream's frozen. What about a frozen t-shirt contest? So our goal is to try to figure out who can unravel this frozen t-shirt first. The quickest, first. yes. The quickest. The quickest. Okay, and yeah. th this should be interesting because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, all right. Tyler, I'm gonna hand you the mic. Feel free to describe what we're doing. Do you wanna give us a countdown? All right. Five, four, three, two, one, action. All right. <laughs> I hope this is, uh... All right, looks like Joss is winning. No. <laughs> this, is, right. this is not easy. It doesn't look easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I think it's, Tyler it's has pretty, a career in television. It's pretty frozen. <laughs> Frozen. Well, it oh, felt pretty God. frozen when she put it on my leg. Oh, oh, I got a little tip. Hold on. <laughs> there oh. you go. Good job, Josh. Yeah. Nice. No, that's not going to work. Yeah. No? It's going no. to get dirty, but okay. Yeah. Kirsten, I know that's not going to work. work. Kirsten works there. She should just have the ticket. Just pull it really hard. Can't you just put it underwater? It'll be wet, pull but it really it, it'll come, come apart. On. Yeah, can we get a bucket of water? It's like when you have ice on your windshield. No, that'll be cheating. No, bucket of water. All right, now I'm just not sure who's winning. Uh-oh. You would think it would be easy. It's not easy. Okay, so this weekend, if people want to cool down, maybe they should keep the shirt not rolled up and lay it out in the freezer. If it'll fit. And then they can put it on and cool down. All righty. It looks like Josh is winning. Amazingly. All right. You know Josh, what? are you supposed to put it on once you oh, open it up? Come on, Or just open it? Look. Come on. I think I think I got this. Before we go, I want to give away the answers to our trivia questions. Really, it takes 50 licks to finish an ice cream scoop, and Ronald Reagan started National Ice Cream Day. That's a workout, Kirsten. Very very well done. Here you go. Here's a frozen T-shirt for you. Oh, thank you. All right, National Ice Cream Day. Coming out. Grab a grab a scoop of ice cream somewhere around town tomorrow. Have have some fun with it. I know Tyler and Maddie sure did. Thanks, guys. Too bad Good National job. Ice Cream Day isn't on a Monday or something. We could have a day off, right? Here you go. National you go. holiday. You go. <laughs> I know well, my hands are frozen. Effort. A for effort to both of you. Exactly. Good job. Thanks, Linda. <laughs>